you know, I just I just told myself, you know, once you get back out there, you have to go. You know, I missed three games. I have to make up for those three games. So, and, you know, I told myself, because at uh, the beginning of the season, you know, one of my goals is to go win the Heisman. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking in my head, you know, I missed three games. You know, let's let's be like the first person to miss three games and come back and win the Heisman. Have you thought, like, now that he's had those three games out of going to New York? Yeah, now that I see now, if I had those three games, yeah. I mean, you know, they, <clears throat> you know, it, it hurts, but it's all good. Yeah, but it hurt hard to see that it's Winston, but yeah. been there. Yeah, I probably would have got it. <laughs> <laughs> you run for how many yards? I mean, it's no telling. Um, what I got, probably, I think I would have got close to 2,000. Yeah, that's huge at all State, so. <laughs> No, I haven't seen him. Carlos, how did you wind up at Ohio State? It seems like you're down here and you're wearing shorts in December. This seems like a pretty hard place to leave. Um, definitely was a hard place to leave, but like I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, so um, you know I still have a bunch of family back there. My mom still lives there. I lived down in Naples with my grandparents, so you know when I went up to Ohio State, you know I went on my official with my mom. You know, I came back home in Cincinnati with her, and um, you know, I kind of based my decision off of her. If it was she said yes or she said no, I was gonna go with it. So I asked her, you know, um, what did, what did she think? She liked it a lot, and um, I was like, "Do you want me to go there?" And she's like, "Yeah." So I called them that day and was like, "Well, I'm gonna come in here." How old were you when you moved to Naples? Uh, <clears throat> I was 15. 15. How old are you now? 23. Did any Florida schools recruit you? Miami, Florida, Florida State? Yeah, I could have stayed in Florida. I had every school in Florida. I could have stayed here. But, you know, decided to uh, go to Ohio State. What do you think of this atmosphere for a bowl, you know, South Florida, Orange Bowl? I know it's the first time you've been here. Um, I actually, I've been down here before. We play, when we play against the Hurricanes. So, you know. Um, but not in a bowl. You know, not, bowl, yeah. BCS bowl game. Yeah, not in a bowl game. Um, you know, this is huge. You know, this, even though we came up short, this is still a huge game for us. You know, um, the Orange Bowl is a is a big uh, big bowl game to play in. You know, and um, I think we're looking forward to it. How about the, just the atmosphere here? You know, the community and and you know, uh, things you, they they give you the bowl, what you do and stuff while you're here. It's pretty. It's pretty good so far. You know, they. Um, they showing us a lot of love around here. You know, people, uh, you know, waving to us. You know, there's a lot of fans down here, that, more than I would have expected. You know, there's a lot. Of, there's actually a lot of fans in Naples, so I'm not too surprised. So um, they're actually showing a lot of love. You know, we, you know, we're at, like today we're supposed to do some you know, fun things. So I'm looking forward to that. What are some? Of, what's the most fun thing you've done, and what what do you expect to be good this week? Well. Um, I'm actually kind of waiting to see what they go have us doing today. Um, so far, the funnest thing I did today, uh, I mean, since I've been here, uh, uh, hanging out on the beach so far. That's about it. I mean, I went to South Beach, but I've been there before. So. Last thing, guys, the, the, the hotel, is it nice? I mean, what's it like being on the beach when you go to school? In the I mean, the, ho the hotel is awesome. Um, never. I didn't even know Hollywood, Florida was between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. I always thought it was at the top. And um, the hotel is awesome, though. It's like um, the, the view, the view of the view of the hotel is pretty sweet. You got a you got an ocean view, you know, with the pool under you, and then you got another view where it's up like the city. You know, you can't really ask for a better view. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank With you. all the struggles on defense, the injuries, the stomach bug, is there even more pressure on the offense to perform well this weekend? Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely feel like you know there's a little more pressure on offense, you know, to perform well. You know, we got some guys that's uh, that's out right now that might not be able to play. Not, yeah, like might not be able to play this week. Um, so you know, there's more pressure on us. And um, we don't, I don't, as an offense, I don't think we mind that. You know, we love to grind games out. You know, control the clock and uh, you know do what we do best. Who do you think has helped you 
most here during this this football season, whether it be your coaches, family, anybody in particular? Um, I think it's just what helps me this season, you know, just just focusing, you know, each week, you know, just studying film on my opponent, you know, not just taking the opponent, you know, for granted, you know, just even though with the record probably doesn't show that, you know, that they're, that they're actually a good team, you know, they might have a bad record, but, you know, they're actually, you know, a good team, it's just the record don't show it. So, you know, <clears throat> that's the thing that, you know, that just been helping me this year, you know, just focusing more. You know, last year I, I focused, but not as, not as much because I know I missed those three games. So, you know, I'm really locked in this year. Was it film study? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are your impressions of Clemson's defense? Uh, they, uh, the film that I saw, their uh, their defense, you know, is pretty sharp. You know, they flatter the ball. You know, they don't make too many mistakes. And, you know, and they play. You know, they play together. You know, when you're playing against a defense that plays together, you know, it's usually a tough game. So, looking forward to it. Nah, I don't. I don't remember, but it wasn't that much. I mean. That was probably disappointing coming back to your home and or, you know, home state at least. Uh, it was it was alright. I didn't try to let it let it let it get me down, so it was alright. After looking at a film of Clemson, would you be surprised to learn that coming into this season they felt that the front seven on that defense would be their strength on this team? Uh, you know, as I watched the film, their front seven, and you know. It, they're real, you know. There's some real dudes up there, you know. They got some uh, some great interior D linemen and some outside D linemen, you know. That, that that fly off the ball, you know. Their linebackers play great with the D line, you know. They all click together, you know. So that ties in with the safeties, you know, coming down, fitting in, run support. So you know, they all play together, like I just said earlier, you know. So you know, it's usually a tough game when the defense plays together. Yeah. And was there anybody other than than and everybody talks about Beasley? But anybody other than than him? Um, I seen. Uh, I think he's number fifty, the D tackle. Um, explosive guy, you know. He can. Uh, not big. He's not. Uh, he, I mean, he, he moves. He moves well, you know. For his, for the size he does have, you know, he moves. He moves well, you know. I seen seen him. Uh, you know, like uh, adjust his body. To, you know, the ways that the um, offensive lineman is trying to block him. You know, getting out of blocks, pretty good. You know, so. Um, so, you know, I was pretty impressive about that, you know. And uh, like you said, Beasley, you know, he's he's an awesome DN off the edge, you know, quick guy flying off the ball. How about second level? Um, I think he's 42. Yeah. Yeah, 42 is a thumper, you know. Um, well, I forget the other uh, guy, but, yeah, I've seen 42. 42 uh, flies to the ball, you know, because I've I seen him a lot in the film that I was watching that he was flying the ball, making a lot of plays. A couple of times this year, you've tweeted out Bible verses. How much has your faith helped sustain you as you, particularly the beginning of the year, as you went through your trials and tribulations? Um, <clears throat> my faith, my faith has uh, helped me a lot this year. You know, um, the time where I did get in trouble, you know, I just got, uh, I actually got closer to God during that time. You know, that was probably the person I talked to the most. You know, every night, you know, I just said a prayer to Him. You know, that He'd get me through this and. Um, you know, and after he got me through it, you know, I still, before every game, you know, I say a prayer, you know, to him that he beats with me uh, today during this game and uh, just let me shine. And so far, it's been so good. Are there any particular words that you say in the prayer, or is it basically what comes to your mind? It's just, just what comes to my mind, you know. Whatever I'm feeling at that moment, you know, I just, you know, I just say it, you know. Carlos, I know you're a big Miami Heat fan. Any chance LeBron's going to be on the sideline Friday? I'm actually a big LeBron fan, not not a Miami Heat. So LeBron went to a different team. I'll be a fan <laughs> of them. Um, I think LeBron would be at the game. I'm pretty sure. He's a big Ohio State fan. So, I mean, it would make sense if he was at the game.